Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, and we are navigating the journey. And what a journey it is. We are going to take a deep dive with some people or creatures that we've never met. But boy, are they wonderful. So let's take a dive into the underwater acts of science. And so with our new guest here, all kinds of pretty little things, and we will introduce you to the author, Marianne Waikiki, and let's take a dive. Let's go deep into the water. Ah, and now we are going to meet all of these puppets. Marianne of Waikiki has created a plethora, a whole farm, a whole menagerie of puppets that actually sing. And they are the kind acts of kindness, the kind puppets. Right. The That's singing right. puppets. Sign language puppets. Marsha, that's good. Dekine Signing Puppets collection here, created by Folk Manus Puppets. Yes. So we are going to dive into the Acts of Kindness book series. Okay. What are the Acts of Kindness? Show me. Acts. Acts of Kindness. Oh. Letter K, kindness. Oh, oh kindness. Good. Acts of Kindness. That's wonderful. Okay. Yes. All right. So tell us the story. We, you've got books. Mm -hmm. This is a book club. This is the first book of our Acts of Kindness book series that is co-created with Suzanne Sims and I, and it has a soundtrack by Lucy Lynch and The Perfect Wave. And uh, through meditation, I was guided I was going to write a series of children's sign language books with puppets. I kind of laughed. I went, what? I love puppets, but... Anyway, Marsha, I walked down to Ala Moana Mall, and I saw these three of amazing puppets in one of the stores, and it started coming to me, the inspiration of living on a sailboat over here, and not only seeing all this floating garbage arriving around the sailboat that I've resided on, um, just um, these ideas were just coming to me, and I had contacted the Animal Planet TV show Tanked, Wade King, where they build aquariums in Las Vegas. And we have a photo of Wade and I. I flew Look over to way. Vegas. Yeah, and I, I told him about the idea. He loved it, and he wanted to be a octopus, a red octopus. So now his name is King Octo the Eighth, who teaches what, Marcia? The signs of peace, love, happiness, and thanks tank, or mahalo here. Oh, they build a wellness way. tank. Talk. Yeah. So this is Noah, the whale, the leading character, okay? And it's also for our amazing organization called the National Oceanic Atmospheric Agency. When I first came to Hawaii a decade ago, remember we met? Yes. I had this idea, and we were talking with my deaf friend, Scott, and um, I was reading an article from Noah. And they had talked about the sound pollution that was affecting the marine life. And they had a project, and there were some acronyms. Well, one of the acronyms' name was SPLASH. Well, guess what? Noah's wife is SPLASH, Splash. and the grandparents are Alpha and Beta. So we introduced them coming down on what a Hawaiian vacation. Who does not want to be here in scenic Hawaii? Yeah, scenic Hawaii right there so we introduced the family of whales coming down on the hawaiian vacation good so let's see how does this one work this is actually natalie the nautilus the audiologist okay she talks about cochlear implant and i uh have a degree from central michigan university in audiology and i became a social worker with mentally ill deaf adults for about five years so we talk about hearing loss and it doesn't matter you can be born with a hearing loss you can acquire it through a middle ear infection from swimming in a pool, to loud noises in concerts. And we have a lot of military moms and dads that are coming back with a hearing loss. So we want to highlight them so that we are giving them what? Total communication skills of sign language and speaking and just gestures and everything so that we can improve their communication. And also we have a lot of 
military moms and dads coming back with ringing in the ears tonight is I have that myself mm -hmm. and it comes and goes and you don't know when it's going to come and go so we want to make sure that our community our global community now is up to 320 million people experiencing a hearing loss so this is going to be amazing stories and we know this is really what's happening around the world these garbage patches what, are floating. Now where is the garbage patch? Well the garbage patch is between Hawaii and California is one of them but there's other ones I think I believe up to six other ones now that they're finding around the world. We have a big one between Hawaii and California and we highlight this here in a chapter because in 1999 Captain Moore who came over from California failed in the Transpac and this past July was the 50th race and the 100th anniversary. So they recognize this floating soupy mess of all this plastic and mess and they are um, trying to assess it and clean it all up. And that's what's happening. Noah in the story, they're down here on a Hawaiian vacation. They have a glow in the dark party with everybody. A greeting party. Just a right. greeting party. Yes. Like a, the Aloha ambassador. So that's who they are. They're welcoming our Ohana for the winter. Noah and his Ohana, and that yeah. shock of the sharp. And he searches, and he's very sharp with reading sign so, language skills. Now, you can buy these? Yes, uh, they're online with Folk Manus and on Amazon. Because I, I want everybody to know I bought one, a big one, mm -hmm. for my great grandson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, and here's the tag right here. Folk Manus makes them. They carry them at Sea Life Park, they carry them at the Waikiki Aquarium. Also, Barnes and Nobles, and mm -hmm. I hopefully will have a aisle and cap with the books at Walmart. And I am online with Walmart, but Amazon for the schools post the books. Way. Yeah, post the books, and the classrooms can get copies of the books and the puppets from donors choose. So that shock of the shark is very sharp with the sign language skills. I think you know how to do a shock, <laughs> right? All right. So Marcius, let's do it so, with me, and then we're going to put two of them together. That's what that sign language sign is. It's sign for play. Okay. Wow. So we want to go out and play with the kind signing puppets. That's our tagline. That's what a song by Lucy. And we have that at the back of the book. So go out and play. Right? We want to go out and go and play in a clean, healthy environment, plastic free environment. So what is this puppet? Uh, those are in the future books when you bring me in for rabbit acts of kindness. Rabbit acts of kindness, no bully. This is Chelsea the Courageous Sign Language Chicken for Harry the Hard of Hearing Rabbit. And this is also Bumblebee Eve. Bumblebee Eve believes in finger spelling for the kind signing puppets. And again, as I highlight, we have a lot of military moms and dads coming back with a hearing loss. Mm -hmm. And way. they can't hear their children or their family members. And we don't know when this buzzing is going to come in and go. So the... They come in to sign for Harry the Hard of Hearing Rabbit here. Yes, and that's in the second book. Mm -hmm. So we are going into green screen animation with Hawaii Pacific University. Again, the sharks. Um, the professors are bringing uh, me in. Oh, and these, these are little, little puppets. Yeah. So hopefully we're going to create these books into screenplays, into bringing the book into animation, especially for the Animal Planet TV show Tank Guys. Oh, good. Yeah. So it's going to be an exciting year, and we're starting the book club. And the book club starts for this first book is on winter solstice, which is December 21st, when whales are coming down here. And I hope to do some sailing uh, with uh, the band members. And um, so people can follow us along from all over the world and see scenic Hawaii and actually see the whale's tail. Okay? That, so, will that be live? I mean, I'm streaming? hoping. We're we'll working on it. I'm working on it. So remember I showed you yeah. Shaka the shark. Follow me. Can uh -huh. you follow me a second? Okay. Shaka. Shaka. The two of them together are play, right? So now this is the whale. Okay, see that? This uh -huh. is the whale's tail. So how we sign whale is this is the beach. Okay? So the whale's tail here, this is a sign for whale. Isn't that amazing? Just the Shaka to play to whale. Okay, mm -hmm. whales, and then the dolphins is the letter D, and that's where the finger spelling comes in, and we'll learn that. Well, now, do you do this with the children in the classes, in the classroom? Yes, yes, yes. So all classroom teachers can get copies of my books from Donors Choose. So we have a big educational sponsor letter, and it's real super easy. Miss Marilyn Rogers, a friend of mine up in Kamiley that I've known for 10 years, requested the books, and she got funded in two weeks. 
No one came in and funded it. So she, she started using the books. We have a testimonial. I have a three-page letter testimonial. One, how easy it is for the classroom to request the books, or anybody who wants to sponsor it, go to this donor's choose. Secondly, we have a testimonial from Marilyn, and I had received a Woman of the Year Award, too, oh, for wonderful. all this amazing work. So we have that to get to the educational teachers, Department of Education, aquariums, everywhere around the world. So that how easy it is. Last year, Marsha, Good Morning America had a back to school campaign for donors choose and they raised millions of dollars. Yes. And I have been posting that on my Acts of Kindness Facebook page. I don't know when the day that they are going to do it again, host it again, but um, like 1,200 people donated, 600 and some schools were funded, so that is just so easy. So everybody in the school gets a copy of the book and the classroom gets a set of puppets. And if they want more little mini ones, they can request them too. Teachers go on Amazon, I need a thousand books for the school, I want these puppets, these puppets, they post it, there's the fee on it, and then someone's gonna come through and fund it. Oh, and we have the sponsor cool. letter, uh, encourage other local businesses here that are fundraising for the schools as well. That is marvelous. Yeah. Now, what is what is this little fella here? This is King Octo. This is actually Wade King from the Animal Planet TV show Tanked. Oh. So he's King Octo. This is the letter K. So just like a king, a queen, and princess. And of course, we have the King Kamehameha schools here, right? Everybody gets a book in King Kamehameha schools as well. So they actually come down. And they're on the way to the Big Island to build a tank for the Seahorse Ranch, which I got to visit. And uh, so when we find out that Noah in the general of the new army is being recruited to tackle this garbage patch, they come in to build a wellness tank for the sick fish. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's called. It's called Peace, Love, Happiness, and Thanks Tank. Just like a children's hospital. They want their families, their school of fish, back in their school, just like children's in a children's hospital want to be back in their school with their friends and family as well. So that's what it is. And this is how we sign peace, love, happiness, up from the heart, and thanks. Thank you. Mahalo. Yes. Very good. Yeah. We need to take a break. Okay. And we will be back in 60 seconds. How do you do 60 Zero. Six zero seconds. <laughs> Six zero seconds. Aloha. My name is Wendy Lowe, and I want you to join me as we take our health back. On my show, all we do is talk about things in everyday life, in Hawaii or abroad. I have guests on board that will just talk about different aspects of health in every, in every way, whether it's medical health, nutritional health, diabetic health. You name it, we'll talk about it. Even financial health, we'll even have some of the Miss Hawaii's on board and all the different topics that I feel will make your health and your lifestyle a lot better. So come join me. I welcome you to take your health back. Mahalo. Aloha, my name is Victoria and I'm a host at the Adventures in Small Business. This is a collaboration between US Small Business Administration, Hawaii District Office and its partners where we showcase the stories of local entrepreneurs and small businesses, talk about how to start a business, talk about great tips for small business owners. Uh, please join us every Thursday, 11 a.m. at Think Tech Hawaii. Um, see you soon. Mahalo. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, and we are on an incredible journey today. We are navigating to the bottom of the sea to meet creatures that we don't get to see, and we're going to talk about the big, the great garbage patch, mm -hmm. which floats around in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. That's right. So, and we have books that go with it, Underwater Acts of Kindness. First, tell us about a the puppet and the acts, the kind. The kind? The kind. Well, they're, they're assigning puppets. No, and but, but, so we don't get confused. The kind. Okay, the kind here is a, is a word that's yeah. used over here for this or that. You know, the kind. But that's the kind, K I N D. This e. is K I N D. D because we want acts of kindness. kindness. And we have the acts of kindness series. And it's for our hearing world to learn basic sign language skills 
for our deaf community. And, and also, do, also we're taking a global topic, such as these garbage patches, plastics, and anti-bullying messages. We're going to be writing one about climate change. So all these books are written into animation movies with, again, the soundtrack by Lucy Lynch in The Perfect Wave. And Nick's guitar sounds like whales and dolphins. So when oh. you read these books, and we are starting a book club, starting mm-hmm. winter solstice, so everybody's got time to go online to Amazon, get the books, get the puppets, the classrooms, the teachers. Then you can follow along with us and see, see us in scenic Hawaii sailing. So we have plenty of time okay, to do yes. all that. And you can go to the beginning of the book, and we highlight Lucy Lynch and the perfect wave. So you can sit there and listen to Lucy and exactly. her angelic sounds. That just is so taking you. She has a song called Soul Ship. So you are sailing away, and you are living that journey. And everybody, it touches everybody's heart of all ages. And that's where the book is also, too. It's for all ages. All ages of the heart, Marsha. Dr. Joyful Lay. I like that. Mm-hmm. Dr. Fingers. Mm-hmm. Ah. He's a finger-spelling Herman Crab. He's not with us today because he he's is busy. Da- well, he's down finding students at, again, Hawaii Pacific University. We're looking for students who want to be part of the Acts of Kindness internship that can create application games. I have a series to go along with that to help create the sales and marketing to bring this all to other schools and around the world and animation. So Dr. Fingers, the finger-spelling Herman Grab, he's out finding, finding uh, our, our students to do this, some animation work. Dr. Angela Joyful. I like that. Angel, angel Joyful Lay. Lay. Yes. She's yes. an angelfish interpreter, a sign language interpreter for Harry the Heart of Hearing Rabbit. And the school of Gallaudet swirls, swirls around it and starts doing the alphabet. And again, Marsha, part of this project is to get everybody's people's starting from babies to start learning sign language skills, such as I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I need to use the restroom, I need my diapers changed, mommy and daddy. And that way they develop them. And once they start signing and start speaking that actually enhances their vocabulary. They're able to express more of sentences to say, I want to wear that blue dress today because it's ocean cleanup day, Marsha. So they're just not pointing. Again, it also develops skills. We're on the social emotional learning curriculum, mindfulness program, and it also is also educating so that students may one day want to become a sign language interpreter, and we are in need of them. Oh, Again, yes. I told you there's 320 million hear- hard of hearing deaf people now in the world. So we need sign language interpreters. That's interesting that um, I saw one class on the, on the television, and because there was one little girl mm-hmm. that they put in with the regular class, her parents wanted her in with the regular students, the other kids learn mm-hmm. the language in order to communicate with her. Right, exactly. And it was absolutely marvelous. And you would think, well, I would hope that the DOE would see the necessity in um, having this for all children. Exactly. Because you never know when you might need it. Exactly. Well, that brings us into the second book of this Acts of Kindness book series called Rabbit Acts of Kindness, No Bully for Anti-Bullying. And this is our leading lady of the kind signing puppets. This is Chelsea, the courageous sign language chicken, for Harry, the hard of hearing rabbit. You want to put him on there? And these two here, and Bumblebee Eve is a finger speller. They come together to, at school, and they sign for Harry, the hard of hearing rabbit, and they have other classmates, too. So... That's what they do. So this is the leading lady. Her name is Chelsea, the courageous sign language chicken for Harry the Hardy Hearing Rabbit. And this is Bumblebee Eve, who believes in fingerspelling. And that's the alphabet. And we'll have fingerspelling bees. So I vision online courses and curriculum to go along with these books. And again, I'm finding the students at HPU to help develop this, to help to develop this whole entire project. That's wonderful. HPU and any other schools, the lower Whoever grades? Whoever wants to join in. No, I meant the lower grades because oh. all of the lower grades now are doing all kind of scientific work. You know, I'm open to anybody that can. And I did meet a, a young woman named Phoenix who is a homeschooled high school who has created animation and who does want to be a filmmaker. She introduced me to some other 
filmmaking uh, professors at UH, and I went over and I met with them about uh, presenting to Good Pitch, which is coming November 6th. So I hope to use her work. She has the projects, and one is the General of the New Earth Army, Marsha, and uh, we have this pledge in the book, and I asked her if she could make a public service announcement. So I'm open. Anybody who would like to do that, it's an acts of kindness. Um, it's just an internship. We also have a song contest here, again, to create these characters swimming in animation. Um, and that's the goal is because we want to be able to pick up the puppets and, and play with them and uh, have a public services announcement for that in regards to plastic, ocean, no bullying, hearing loss, um, social emotional learning, curriculum, mindfulness. The creativity is open, just like with Folk Manus puppets. Imagination just doesn't stop. Noah, Flash, Alpha, and Beta are a happy family of Hawaiian humpback whales. During their annual winter migration in the Pacific Ocean, they learn about an enormous pile of plastic trash swirling in the waters between Hawaii and California. Together with their marine dwelling friends, they undertake a heroic effort to clean it up. To succeed, they must enroll the help of concerned citizens from around the world. That's right. So calling everybody on all, calling on all land dwellers. <laughs> yeah. So everybody can participate. That's right. We have the book club. We have an Acts of Kindness Facebook uh, page, and we have an Acts of Kindness Facebook page book club. It's open to the world. So again, winter solstice is when we're going to really highlight it, and we'll be sailing and whale watching so that people can see scenic Kauai around the world. And anybody who wants to send any information, uh, they can send us and let them know their experience with the Garbage Patch. It's an open forum. And um, the schools as well. We want to get into the schools, get them the book so they start talking. And when the classrooms do receive the book, I am going to go out with these Dakine Signing Puppets, and we're going to interact. We're going to talk about who they are, learn the basic sign language skills. I teach 10 of them. And I ask also to the world, especially when we have guests here visiting our beautiful island of Hawaii, and we ask them to look around on the ground and find 10 pieces of plastic. If everybody did it and put it in the trash can, if we look around at the bus stops, the, you know, the hotels, the beaches, if everybody does that, what a beautiful world it is. I think 10 pieces of plastic. It's, it's unbelievable. And now, and I don't know how you can address this, but I just heard that you should not use sea salt anymore because of the plastic, the minuscule pieces mm -hmm. of plastic yeah. in the sand, mm -hmm. or the salt, rather, the sea right. salt. And I mean, when you can't trust, and people have been using sea salt for thousands of mm -hmm. years, and now we can't? Yeah, this is our environment. I have a friend who um, is a big fisherman on the other side of the island, and he informed me that eight out of ten fish that they catch are full of plastic. Eight out of ten. Oh, that's so scary. That's so scary. And now I've gotten to the place at home. Everything we pick up, is this plastic? Mm -hmm. Everything that you buy, is this plastic? Things that you don't think of as plastic right. are plastic. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's exactly. unbelievable. Unbelievable how we've come to this make-believe world, this plastic world. Right. So. I am just thrilled to death about this opportunity and um, the idea that you should have little children, not just uh, the big girls, mm -hmm. the big children, but little ones because now they're studying computer science uh, from the very earliest age. Mm -hmm. They can make, and they love games, they can make games, they can create mm -hmm. with these puppets. They like can, I said, I am open to it. As an acts of kindness, if they want to create it and make it, and share it with the world and make an after-school program with it, too, and fingerspelling sign language. I have 200 puppets, Marsha. I need all the help in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so we can go on and on and on, and this is the catalog. And this is actually Hula, who we do hula with. So I see, uh, I have a song. Oh, 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 I love that. Hula. Yeah. Yeah, she's in the second book. So we have a song contest with Noah, and I, I see the schools actually interacting with these puppets and signing and dancing uh, and singing this song here. 
uh, for Noah the Whale. And uh, we don't have any lyrics. I mean, we have the lyrics. We don't have any melody or music. So the schools can sign up and do that as well and post it. And we will pick somebody, a solo, a classroom, a, a band, I'm not sure, but we will listen to it and decide on how we will put this in and in this animation movie. This is great. It's absolutely great. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to take a second, just one second, to ask the control room to be sure that you get to meet Haley. She does great work. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, because she does animation and all kinds of wonderful things. Great. And she's in school now. Awesome. But you will really like her. Because, like I said, she's young and she's got all that imagination and all those skills. Great. It's, they need to be started swimming it, and moving. It, yes. <laughs> yes. Do you yes. remember how I did the shaka? Yeah. The two of them together? And then that's the whale's tail. Yep. And this is a sign for dive. So Lucy has a song, When I dive into the ocean, the deep blue sea, the love comes over me. That's kind of shining like hula, right? Yes. But it's sign language skills. So it's just amazing culture to get this all going and have a lot of fun. And she, we have several different songs in there. One is called Reunion, and that's Reunion when Noah gets reunited with his wife. And we're going to have what? A baby whale on the big island, which oh. brings us into the first birthday luau. So I'm not going to tell you the whole entire story, but we do have birthday party supplies, everything to go along with that, and we hope to get into local stores as well. Okay. In the end, there is never an ending. There is only the moment here and now. We heard all about it, and we all doubted. Think about the future. Think about the past. In the end, we are all not so different. We can make a difference. We can make a difference and see through new eyes we can change. That's right. Thank you so much. This has been such a pleasure having you. And you will keep us informed and update as we move along. Right. And speaking of that song, in the end, we have Lucy in the Perfect Way playing tomorrow at Kahala Mall. So we have the dates. Everybody can come down. It's open to the public outside in the courtyard. What time? 6.30. Okay. Yes. Great. And so, thank you so much. Thank you. Aloha. And aloha. And, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Yes. Thank you. Aloha.